Hello, welcome to Library Connection. I'm Mandy Cantrell from the B.B. Comer Memorial Library here in Sylacauga. Before I get started, I'd like to thank TV47, Chris, and everyone who helps to put on our program. They're, they're a huge help to us. I appreciate the, uh, wor working with them. I enjoy w working with them. They're easy to work with, so thank you, TV47. Now today, I'm very excited about this program. It is about Southern Dance and Performing Arts' latest production of Beauty, uh, Beauty and the Beast. We were talking about that earlier. I'm sorry. <laughs> of the importance of being earnest. I get one thing on my mind. This is their uh, dinner theater production, The Importance of Being Earnest. And joining me are the directors, mm -hmm. Patrick McDonald and Celia Blanchard. Thank hey. you so much for coming. Thank, Thank you for having us. I'm sorry I goofed up that. <laughs> to the, pro the title of the, of the play, but it's The Importance of Being Earnest. Mm -hmm. I don't know a lot about that, so we're going to find out a little bit more about that. Before we get into anything else, when is the performance date? The performances they begin on July 8th, okay. uh, and they'll run July 8th, 9th, 14th, 15th, and 16th. All the performances are going to be dinner theaters at Harvey's on Noble in that nice back area that they have uh, back behind their main restaurant. Um, it is fabulous food. Harvey's will be providing all the food. And the price of the tickets is $45. It includes the meal and a show. So you, you don't have to go anywhere else for, for your dinner or your entertainment. You come in and you have a great time and just sit there and, and enjoy the company and enjoy the show. There it is. That's great. Well, we'll talk some more about how to get tickets and everything, but put those dates on your calendars. Uh, well, before we get started, I know uh, I've had you on the show several times, uh, Pat Patrick, but Celia, this is my first time to have you on. Yes. Tell us about yourself. Well, um, you know, this is my first time directing for mm -hmm. this. I've done acting in the past. Um, right now I'm at school for cosmetology at CAC. Um, almost graduating from that. So good, yes. good. Mm -hmm. That's great. And tell us a little bit about yourself, Patrick. I know. <laughs> well, I know. I've been uh, I've been with SD Pack from the uh, from the beginning of the performances that we've been doing. Wow. Uh, we started uh, a couple years ago uh, teaching musical theater. So I'm a musical theater teacher at uh, Southern Dance and Performing Arts, and uh, we do these shows to give people opportunities to use the things we teach in class yes. in real life. Uh, put them mm -hmm. on stage and, and put them up in front of everybody. That's great. I'm so glad to have uh, theater and mu musical theater back mm -hmm. in Sylacauga. It's so fun. I enjoyed the last production you had so much. Well, thank uh, you. All of them, but I enjoyed the din din dinner theater especially. Now your role is, y'all are co-directors yes. kind of, but I know Celia, you're probably doing more learning this time, <laughs> I guess. Aren't you saying yes, right? I, you know, Patrick has directed so many plays yeah. already, and uh, I guess three out of the four that I've been in. Mm -hmm. um, so he's definitely been teaching me the ropes a little bit. Um, yeah. But yeah, we've kind of divided the responsibilities of director, yeah. just split it in half, and you know, we both do a little of both as well. That's great. <laughs> That's good for you that you get to share that responsibility. You know, the ability to breathe and the uh, <laughs> yeah to see her coming up as a director. Um, I, I have been pleasantly amazed with uh, the insight that she's had, the things that she's been doing, um, getting the show together. Um, I, I can't think of a better co-director to work with. That's great. Now you've been on the other side of the camera yes. for several years. What, what, what parts have you played? Um, I've been in four plays so far. I played uh, Martha. She was a maid in uh, The Secret Garden. Yes. Um, I played uh, Charlie's mother in Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Right. Um, then I went to college for a couple of years, came back, and I was like, you know, I want to try out theater again. It's yeah, been a while. Yeah. So I came back and was fortunate enough to play Belle in Beauty and the Beast. Yes. And then uh, I played Josephine in Big Fish. Oh, goodness. And mm -hmm. all those were great. I think I saw most of those. They were mm -hmm. wonderful. What, what made you want to switch sides of the camera, I guess, or be uh, back, backstage directing? Well, really, he's... He asked. Oh, okay. <laughs> he shocked me. We, my family was over at his family's house for dinner, and uh -huh. he pulled me aside. And said, what would you think about directing? And you know, after I caught my breath, I was like, I don't know. Can I think about it? So, but I decided, you know, it would be a great opportunity to see how I like it, and I am enjoying it so far. That's so. right. And I think I know both of you have been in front of the camera on stage mm -hmm. with an as an act, actor or a, actress, so you have a a good perspective or maybe you, you can a lot of insight mm -hmm. into what actors need or as a as a director mm -hmm. uh, that didn't even make any sense but you know what I mean <laughs> because you have been on stage that would help you be yes. a better director I mm -hmm. think yeah. 
It does. It, it gives you that perspective. You know what the, when you see the actor doing something uh, that doesn't quite fit the story that right. you're trying to tell through the play, because the director is the storyteller. Okay. Um, all the actors are telling their own story. The director's telling the story of the show. And so you put all those individual stories together with the actors. And uh, you know there are sometimes you're not getting exactly the right emotion. You try to find that emotion from the actor. Um, and if you've been in that position, you know just telling you, I need you to be sad, doesn't work. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> you, have to, you have to come up with things that help you portray that emotion. You've got to feel the emotion on stage. Right. And so it, it, if you have been in the actor's position, you know what works with you and, and can give folks uh, things that they can try. That's great. You see the whole picture, I guess. Right. Each person sees their part, and that's what they're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's great. Well, I'm excited. That would be so much fun. Who else is in the play? I know that's a big question. Who are the main characters? <laughs> well, we've got um, nine <coughs> cast members for this one, so okay. you know, going from, <coughs> up, I guess, 30, 40 people to uh, nine uh, is a big difference, okay. um, but it, it, you know, it allows for a lot more directing. But uh -huh. um, most of these most of the actors have acted with us before. I think okay. we've got a couple that are, it's their first time acting Good. with us, but uh, you know, you'll see some familiar faces from if you've seen the past plays. Good, yeah. good. Mm -hmm. I look for, and I know I, I'm not going to ask you to spout out the nine <laughs> members because I have looked online to see who they are. I'm very excited. Mm -hmm. That would be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to pause for a commercial break and we'll be right back and talk some more with Patrick and Celia. The Maxie Beasy Senior Adult Activity Center offers to senior citizens in the Sylacauga and surrounding areas lots of fantastic activities throughout the week. Sewing, ladies bridge, quilting, game rama ceramic classes, bingo, travel club, and lots more. It's all at the Maxie Beasy Senior Adult Activity Center located next to the J. Craig Smith Community Center in Sylacauga. Don't spend any more time alone. Get out, make new friends, and have fun. Sulacaga's best kept secret? No more. Harvey's on Noble is the place to go for the area's best food and drinks. Whether you're in the mood for steak, burgers, salad, seafood, or dessert, Harvey's on Noble will not disappoint, and the atmosphere is perfect for catching the big game or just relaxing after work. Harvey's is open for dinner Wednesday through Saturdays, so round up the family and we'll see you at Harvey's on Noble, downtown Sulacaga. Great. What am I going to do now? Time to visit Brown's Auto Collision. No problem at all. We've contacted your insurance company and we can get you back into regional condition right away. And I just want to remind you that all of our work is covered by a lifetime warranty. We're done. Wow, that was easy and looks great. Brown's Auto Collision. Where, Where quality is no accident. accident. Welcome back to Library Connection. I'm talking with Patrick McDonald and Celia Blanchard. They are the co-directors of the upcoming Southern Dance, <coughs> excuse me, Southern Dance and Performing Arts production of The Importance of Being Earnest. And this is a dinner theater at Harvey's on Noble. Great. Where can people go to get tickets for this? They can go to sdpac.net. That's mm -hmm. sdpac.net. Um, there's a link right at the top of the page, whether you're looking at it on your phone or on your computer. Uh, click on that. It'll take you right out to the ticket link. Uh, all the tickets are $45 for every seat. We are expecting a sellout. We sold out last year uh, for our summer show at Harvey's. We do expect to sell out this year. The food is tremendous. Um, if anybody who's been to Harvey's knows that they they have some really good food out they there. Do, yes. and, um, and the show is embedded in that experience. You have your dinner while you're drinking your coffee uh, or your tea. You're sitting at your table and, um, and watch the show and it's, it's a very comfortable atmosphere. <clears throat> it's very nice to sit with friends you know and have a good fun evening out. Mm -hmm. Sure. I don't know that much about the play, The Importance of Being Earnest. I've read a little bit, you know, the synopsis. kind of. Can you just tell us some about it without ruining it, I guess? <laughs> I don't think it'll ruin it, but we need to know what it's about. A yeah, bit. well, it's, first of all, it's set in uh, England in the 1890s, 1895. Okay. Um, sure. So it's really about, you know, society of the time, and um, it is a farce, which is, you know, different from a comedy in that it is a comedy, but the characters believe that it's a tragedy. Oh, so okay. all of the actors um, have done a really good job of portraying that. All the characters, you know, they think that their life is so difficult, but <laughs> they're 
the aristocracy of the 1890s. So um, in a couple of instances, we'll see some of the lower class, I guess, people, the servants yeah. reacting to this, you know, they know that they're not all that <laughs> bad off. Um, but basically, it is about two couples that are trying to navigate uh, the society of the time mm -hmm. while also, you know, have, including some mistaken identity in there, oh, uh, okay. some you know, dishonesty, untruthfulness, uh, but all set, you know, in a very playful manner. Um, yeah. And, you know, the couples trying to get together amidst all of this. Mm -hmm. Well, that sounds fun. Sounds mm -hmm. like a fun, good food and laughing. Yes. <laughs> Those are two things we yes. love. That's great. Um, how is planning for a dinner theater, which like at Harvey's, which is a wonderful place to have a program, but it's not as large a stage as a high school auditorium. Mm -hmm. How do you, I mean, as directors, how do you navigate that? Very careful with your space. I yes. Know. Definitely. Particularly backstage space. Mm -hmm. um, oh, it's that's true. Uh, when you've got a large uh, when you get a large stage at one of the high school auditoriums, you can roll things on, roll things off, and you can right. do it while people are on stage. Really, for a dinner theater, you've got to carry things upstairs or repurpose uh, the sets oh, okay. uh, across the across the scenes. Mm -hmm. So it does. What you can do in a dinner theater space, um, you have to either be very minimalist, not have too much on stage, or you come in and repurpose the things that you do have on stage. And so a lot of that behind the scenes stuff is, is what really is affected. The acting is going to be there in either case. Right. Just a smaller area, it is. I guess. Yeah. Well, y'all did a great job with it. The last program, uh, Li Little Women. Little right? Women, yes. It was fantastic. So I know you'll enjoy this one too. This will be a lot of fun. Um, talk about your your connection with Safe. I know Safe is. Are you a, a part of just you? I'll let you explain <laughs> that a little bit, Brian. Yes, yeah, Southern Dance and Performing Arts mm -hmm. is a part of the Silicon Alliance for Family Enhancement, also known as SAFE. Mm -hmm. uh, we, are, we provide arts education uh, mm -hmm. as far as dance, musical theater, uh, all of those um, arts are covered under SD PAC's umbrella. And so we have musical theater classes, dance classes mm -hmm. for ballet, jazz, contemporary, point, um, all those dances that um, that we need to learn. Um, wow. Even actors um, and tap is a huge one for actors oh, wow. um, because you have so many roles that require some level of tap mm -hmm. dancing. Mm -hmm. uh, since we're doing musical theater, two out of our three shows every year have dance in them, yes. um, and that's not by accident. Mm -hmm. uh, we are part of Southern Dance, and, and it's a great place to be. Safe has been uh, just tremendously supportive of our theater program as we've as we've come up. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Uh, it's nice to have, so you can all work together like a family, kind of. You yes. know, you pull dancers, you pull singers, actors, everything. That's great. Mm -hmm. It's like a family. It isn't really it? is. <laughs> and now you have community partners. I know you have sponsors oh, yes. also. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, go ahead. Yeah, um, Harvey's, uh, we. We uh, partnered up with Harvey's last year for our dinner theater, and this year um, they we're doing that again because they they have been so good to work with. Encourage everybody on Wednesday through Saturday. I think are there are there days that they're open. Go by there. It, you will not have better food anywhere. Uh, so I, that's just that's just my little plug. They didn't pay me to say that, um, but they. Uh, they have been a really good community partner. We're getting other community partners. Uh, B.B. Comer has been fantastic uh, yeah. in letting us use their auditorium. And uh, it's a great space, great backstage area. Um, and so we really appreciate the opportunities to be with them. Yeah. We work with Silicaga High School Auditorium as well. Um, and we, we use both of those spaces for the different performances we have based on the performance needs and the availability of the space, mm -hmm. obviously. Right, yeah. uh, and, um, and then we've got our sponsors. We've got um, our, the Alabama State Council for the Arts gave us a massive grant this year for our, uh, for our theater season. Um, the license plate division, we actually got a separate grant from the license plate oh, division. Yeah. So when you see the support the arts license tags at your, uh, when you're renewing your tag, buy one of those. That <laughs> 
money actually comes back here. Yeah. Um, and so if you're going to get something personalized anyway, support the arts with it um, because it doesn't cost you any more to personalize those. Um, and then Resolute Forest Products, uh, Chick-fil-A of Silicaga has, has signed on as a uh, sponsor for this year, Camellia Homes. And I know I'm forgetting a oh. couple of others. I <laughs> apologize. <hard> but. <laughs> hard to name those because you know you're going to forget. Yeah, I, I know. My mind just completely went blank. <laughs> They're in the program, though. They I are in the program on the posters, all yeah. of our media. It is so nice to have a community that supports things like this, mm -hmm. I believe. Absolutely. I it's great. Now, I know your families are also involved in this. I know, doesn't your mother, I always remember somebody, when I saw you as Belle in Beauty and the Beast, somebody said, you know, her mother made that beautiful <laughs> yellow dress. Yes. So is she doing costumes again? Yes, she is helping with the costumes for this one as well. So she is, she is enjoying that. I yes. know she does. And your family is either in it or behind the scenes working. We are neck deep. Yes, <laughs> um, we've got, I've got one son, uh, Joseph, who's going to be uh -huh. uh, in the show, uh, in Portis okay. of Being Earnest. And then uh, Miss Amy does all the promotion and marketing mm -hmm. and uh, getting these grants uh, uh -huh. from the state and, and other places. Yeah, those grants don't just come to you. I know you have to apply for them. And that is a very difficult process it sometimes. Is. It is quite arduous. I mean, uh, for some of these grants, uh, there have been two, maybe even three interviews after oh. a 50-page application. Uh, so uh, she's she's always working on some grant or another uh, to, yeah. to get that, uh, to get the, keep this program running. I mean, that uh, with the ticket sales, you know, they just don't support the entire cost of the show. We have to have those community partners and the, and the sponsors to be able to do that. And so if any of your listeners or viewers are interested in sponsoring the arts here, they can give Miss Amy a call or yes. send her an email and uh, hit, hit, hit them on sdpac.net and we'll be glad to have them sign up as a sponsor as well. And I know y'all are, of course, you, you love community sponsors, people to give, but y'all are also working behind the scenes with those grants. Like you said, Absolutely. That is, uh, that's a lot of work, but y'all do a, a great job. Uh, well, I'm just excited about this. Tell us the dates one more time. Uh, importance of Being Earnest is July 8th and 9th, 14th, 15th, and 16th at Harvey's on Noble. Mm -hmm. uh, all tickets are $45. There will be no tickets at the door. Um, they have to be purchased in advance. You have to go to sdpac.net to purchase them, um, or you uh, might can call, I'm not sure what their hours are answering the phone, 256-245-1669. Uh, um, but the best place to get tickets is just go right online and purchase them. Right. It's a very easy process. I've done it. <laughs> right. We're going to pause for another commercial break, and we'll be right back and talk some more with Patrick and Celia. The Maxi Vizi Senior Adult Activity Center offers the senior citizens in the Sylacauga and surrounding areas lots of fantastic activities throughout the week. Sewing, ladies bridge, quilting, game-o-rama, ceramic classes, bingo, travel club, and lots more. It's all at the Maxi Vizi Senior Adult Activity Center located next to the J. Craig Smith Community Center in Sylacauga. Don't spend any more time alone. Get out, make new friends, and have fun. Sulacaga's best kept secret? No more. Harvey's on Noble is the place to go for the area's best food and drinks. Whether you're in the mood for steak, burgers, salad, seafood, or dessert, Harvey's on Noble will not disappoint, and the atmosphere is perfect for catching the big game or just relaxing after work. Harvey's is open for dinner Wednesday through Saturdays, so round up the family and we'll see you at Harvey's on Noble, downtown Sulacaga. Great. What am I going to do now? Time to visit Brown's Auto Collision. No problem at all. We've contacted your insurance company and we can get you back into regional condition right away. And I just want to remind you that all of our work is covered by a lifetime warranty. We're done. Wow, that was easy and looks great. Brown's Auto Collision. Where, where quality is no accident. Thank you and welcome back to Library Connection. I'm talking with Patrick McDonald and Celia Blanchard. They are the directors of 
safe southern dance and performing arts production of the importance of being earnest this is a dinner theater which you've just done this is the second one it is so you've gotten into that and everything um, before I forget what are the plans for the future of, the, of uh, southern dance and performing arts the musical theater part we have um, three theater productions this year um, in October we'll be doing the musical the hunchback of Notre Dame uh, it will be in October. Uh, okay. Then in February, we'll be doing The Wizard of Oz uh, as a musical as well. Uh, I don't know how yes. you could possibly do Wizard of Oz <laughs> not as a musical, but yeah, <laughs> you true. tend to want to mention those. And then, um, and then next summer for our third summer show, we're going to be mm -hmm. doing Our Town by uh, Thornton Wilder. So oh. uh, really excited about that. All these are taking us into places we've not gone before, mm -hmm. they, uh, allowing us to grow. In addition, uh, the uh, Southern Dance Performing Arts has Christmas Angels that will be, I believe, in November. Um, I, that yeah, says December. Yeah, December but, early but December, sometime, yeah, late, late November. November, early December. Uh, I believe it's December <laughs> this year. And, um, and then there's the uh, spring recital in April of 2023. Yeah. Wow, you have to plan far ahead, don't you, for something like this? We have to merge calendars a lot and, um, yeah. and make sure everything fits so that uh, the, the folks who want to be involved in almost everything can be involved in almost everything. Wow, that's great. Yeah, you have some people that are in a lot of places. Yes. Which is great. I like seeing familiar faces, but I like seeing new faces yes. too. Great. How did you choose the importance of being earnest? It is, um, when you think of farce in theater, it is the defining farce. It is, um, it's what everybody knows and I wanted to get into something that was more literary at its base. Um, a lot of the things that we've done this far have been derivative um, of a book, which is a okay. wonderful thing. I, ah, I try sure. to plan for those things. But, um, but this one was actually written as a play, just okay. like Shakespeare wrote as a play. Mm -hmm. Oscar Wilde is not nearly as daunting as Shakespeare. So, <laughs> yes. um, but I wanted to get something that had the turns and had something that really spoke to our age today as mm -hmm. well as the age it was written. And you know, you get to sit back and kind of look at yourself and say, <laughs> you know, I may think it's a tragedy, but I'm laughing at myself, like <laughs> Celia said. Um, you know, yeah. you can take, you can kind of take a step back and see yourself in in some of these situations. So I know you had to choose it maybe mm -hmm. a year ago, several yes. months, I know, yeah. uh, and, and purchase that and the rights, all this kind of stuff. And then you have people try out. How, how far in advance do you have auditions? Auditions are about uh, 12 weeks out, yeah. and then we begin rehearsals for musicals about 10 weeks out, for wow. stage plays uh, mm -hmm. eight to nine weeks out, just depends wow. on what the calendar and the schedules allow. Uh, but um, we're planning for a good six months before the show. I'm already working on Hunchback. Oh, um, okay, yeah. <laughs> my choreographer is already going on Hunchback. Right. Where I'm, I'm working on getting the team together in the in the backstage for Hunchback, and uh, in just a month or so, we'll we'll start working on uh, Wizard of Oz even before we start rehearsing Hunchback, because there's so much pre-planning and everything that sure. has to be done before you get onto the stage. Wow, and I know. Um, you have tryouts, and I'm surprised you could, that, I mean, I couldn't put something together in eight or nine weeks, I don't believe. <laughs> it takes a lot of time, a lot of practice, yes. right? And Celia, you're in school right now. Yes, Is I that am. correct? Mm -hmm. what, what, what are you studying? I'm uh, studying cosmetology right now at CAC. Okay. This is my last semester. It's a oh, summer semester, good, so good. I should be finished first week of August. Great, great. Mm -hmm. How do you find time to <laughs> either be in a play, be a director. I know a, you do a lot of work on your own mm -hmm. besides the time when you, you're rehearsing with the Yeah, cast. honestly, it's it's a lot, but mm -hmm. I enjoy being busy and, you know, it gives me something to do and I enjoy that. Mm -hmm. That's great. Well, we all find time to do what we want to do, mm -hmm. I think, and this must be a passion of yours. Yes. Now, are, now, you're also an artist, is that correct? Yes. Yeah. Do you mm -hmm. paint or what, what is your... I point? don't have as much time for that right uh, now, obviously, but right. <laughs> um, I find time for it every once in a while. But yeah, yeah I went to uh, art school for two years um, and then decided I wanted to start cutting hair as well. So That's a great. That's yeah. art. That's an art. Mm -hmm. I think so. I think it would mm -hmm. be an art too. And it's, I've read you have some of your artwork displayed um, in Florida. Is that correct? I or did um, you... for one of the uh, student showcases that we had at our school. I had my art displayed oh, there. So wow. yes. Well, right. Mm -hmm. Well, you might get back into that. Yep. I guess it's all the creative yes. process. I don't have a lot of that myself, but <laughs> but I, uh, that it goes to 
hair and paint and directing and yeah, all. Yeah, I like to I like to know how to do everything. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Mm -hmm. So y'all are rehearsing now. Yes. Lots of hours. Yes. Lots of things going on. Mm -hmm. And do you get to rehearse at Harvey? I mean, I'm probably not because mm -hmm. I have to. It's a it's a restaurant. Mm -hmm. We will actually uh, begin rehearsing at Harvey's uh, in the in the next few rehearsals, but right okay. now we, we are using the space at Southern Dance and Performing mm. Arts. Mm. Uh, we've wow. got a great space there to rehearse in, so we just kind of set up uh, mock-ups of the, of the sets wow. and uh, give everybody a chance to rehearse with all the, all the pieces. And s some of your students may be in the production, although you have young students, and this may or may mm. not. Um, yeah, this, this, um, this one uh, capped out, I believe, mm. at age 12. Okay. Um, so I think all of our um, our youngest is uh, still a student at Nichols Lawson, right. um, and she's playing the oldest character, which is oh. which is really fun. <laughs> it's been a stretch for her, but she's come through fabulously, oh. and um, and she's really bringing out that character, and, and I'm loving to, loving seeing what I'm oh. what I'm seeing. And then our I don't know who our, our oldest uh, <clears throat> character is on stage, but I'll say north of thirty. So, oh, wow. um, so it's a, it's a pretty <laughs> wide range, um, but yeah, our musical theater program. You know, if if you mm -hmm think you want to be part of a musical theater, if, if you want to learn how to do it, we yeah. teach classes and so we're also signing up for classes for next year. So okay, you know, yes. people can go to that same website, sdpac.net, sign up for classes uh, for dance or musical theater. Mm -hmm. Now I think it's funny you said your youngest person in the production plays the oldest carrier she character. Does. Lots of makeup and things like that. Who, who does all of that? Well, uh, probably Celia. Yeah. <laughs> well, yes, that fits perfectly. Uh -huh. yeah. But a lot of the aging is how she carries herself and how she how she acts, and so we've been working on that relentlessly in the rehearsals. Because sure. anytime you're playing not your age, you have to take on mannerisms that are appropriate for that age. And and to see her drop into the character now has has been a delight. Yes. How fun. That's great. Well, I can't wait. I will have to go get my tickets. Let's go over one more time the dates, how to get the tickets, things like that. All right. Uh, importance of being earnest at Harvey's on Noble, July 8th, 9th, 14th, 15th, and 16th. Uh, dinner begins at 6 p.m. Uh, the show will begin at 7 p.m. Uh, basically once everybody's finished eating oh, and um, the tickets are $45 for all seats uh, they will sell out and they must be bought in advance yes. go to sdpac.net sdpac.net to purchase your tickets click on the link right at the top of the page and it'll take you uh, to where you can use your credit card to purchase the tickets good I can tell you though when you get a, when you buy your tickets it was a very easy process no problem you're gonna have a good seat Oh yes, because all of are relatively close. So I felt like we were really up close and personal, which was wonderful. It, you're going to get even closer with this one. Oh, we have okay. some good plans. Yeah. Oh, don't don't tell them. Don't no, <laughs> not spoilers. <laughs> no spoilers. But. Well, thank you so much, Patrick McDonald and Celia Blanchard, our co-directors of The Importance of Being Earnest. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I look forward to this. Please go online and buy your tickets. Thank you. So thank y'all, and thank you for joining us on Library Connection.